Weekend snow gives the University of Vermont's grounds crew a prime opportunity to put some new equipment into action. NBC5's Carolyn Sistran is live on campus tonight with how this will change the amount of salt used. Carolyn. Yeah, Brian, this technology has actually been used over in Finland for the past several years, but now it is here on the UVM campus. The equipment uses software that can help determine how much salt is needed in a specific area, completely taking the guesswork out of the process. Sustainably salting during a storm to keep streets and sidewalks cleared. We have the control of the amount of product being delivered. That's what this machine will do. It's more than $20,000 and was purchased with sustainability funding available at UVM. It utilizes geo tracking to figure out where salt is needed so it's not put down in places where it isn't. It uses GPS technology to locate your truck, your piece of equipment and give us the ability from a remote location to predetermine uh, spread um, amounts. Anytime salt is used during snowstorms, it can have harmful impacts. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, road salt can contaminate drinking water, be harmful to animals, increase soil erosion, and as school officials have found out, can be damaging to infrastructure. Salt is corrosive. It damages a lot of uh, paved areas, concrete. Um, we have underground utilities that have shown damage from salt. Uh, door frames into buildings, stairs, all that sort of thing. And a uh, big piece of it too is, is water, the watershed runoff. The university even has a new salt mitigation task force. It's made up of faculty, students and staff, including Matt Walker. They're interested, they care. They want to do what's right for the environment and um, getting their involvement, um, you know, we hear what they want. The students have been involved in water testing, helping to paint a clear picture of what impact salt has in and around campus. This summer, they plan to get the technology fully set up and ready to go for next winter. And grounds manager Matt Walker says they're still getting comfortable using this equipment, but certainly this weekend is an ample opportunity for them to test it out. They're hoping that this equipment will make a difference in helping their infrastructure last longer, help the campus be more environmentally friendly, and hopefully by using less salt, they'll be able to save some money. In Burlington, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.